Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at how to weight paint your character in a Blender. This is the third episode in the series, the first two were how to model and how to rig a character. So before we get into weight painting I just want to add some changes to our mesh. First thing I want to do, I want to move these shoulders a bit up because nobody has shoulders like in in this angle so we're just going to take our arms by pressing Z to go into wireframe mode and then pressing C to take this select tool like that let me just hide my rig for now let's just move this up something like this is good and I also want to move my neck a bit up I think this looks fine I also want to go to my rig and then just want to select bone arm bones and then just move them up also. I also want to go and add a few more loop cuts where the arms or the legs are going to be bending. So at our elbow I'm just going to press Control R and add a few loop cuts like this. I'll do that also for the knees like that and that should be alright so now go into object mode and select your mesh and then shift right click to select your rig press control P and with automatic weights now if we right click on our rig and press control tab or just go into pose mode down here and then go to our mesh and also go uh, go to your weight paint mode and now we can click on a bone and we can press R to rotate it and see how it affects the mesh I want to fix this arm problem right here as you can see it bends the whole shoulder so I'm just gonna rotate it like this and then I'm just going to go up here if you don't have this panel right here just press T on your keyboard I'll go to subtract and I'm just going to start subtracting from some parts. You can go into wireframe mode with Z, uh, with Z. It makes it a bit easier. This is not the best, but it's working f good enough, I think. Since this is a very low poly mesh, uh, it, it's fine that it's deforming this way, but you could also go back and just add some more loop cuts here, and I think it will work much better. But we're just going to keep it this way. I think it's fine. A few cool shortcuts are you can press Alt-R to reset the rotation of your bone. And you can also, if you move it, you can press Alt-G to reset the transform of your bone. I think the fist is maybe deforming too much of our upper arm here. So I'm just going to go through, delete that and see how it works now. Much better. The leg is deforming a bit too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of these weights. This is fine. I think this is good enough, but I don't think we're going to be moving our leg this far, so I don't think it matters that it's shrinking this back part a bit. But that's actually it. That's it for this video. I know it's very short, and this is very simple, and it just takes some practice, and um, it's all up to personal preference, really. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and uh, subscribe helps me out a lot and uh, go follow me on my social media the next video is going to be making some armor for this character and hopefully i'll see you then so bye bye